Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today what I wanted to do is just go through three of my favorite checkpoints for creating realistic images. Now, this isn't going to be the most technical review and maybe not even the most cutting edge. I just kind of wanted to show you what I've been liking lately and showing you how I do it. Now, all the workflows that are presented in this video, I'm not saying I created them, I don't own the rights to them, anything like that. Uh, I find these and then I modify them, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So I do upload these on my Patreon just to make sure that everyone can kind of follow along with what I'm doing and, you know, get the workflows that I have, but I'm not claiming that I own these or anything. So shout out to the original creators of these. So yeah, let's just get started here. This is my favorite. I don't know why I love Flux Crea. I know it's not the strongest for realism. There is better models out there now, which we'll show today. I just find it gives a look that I really like. It's lightweight to train Lauras, especially with my Laura tool, which is included on the Patreon as well. Um, it's just a great checkpoint for creating lifelike images that are quite candid and good. Another benefit to using Flux Crea is it actually runs quite well on uh, lower spec systems. So that's another reason if you, you know, you're running maybe a 3060 or a lower video card. I'm lucky enough to have a 5090 in my computer right now, so it runs quite fast, but it's pretty flexible. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is WAN 2.2. So this is a text to image version. This one is giving really great realism coming out of it. I've been really enjoying it. Now, I haven't played with it enough, but this workflow that I have here, I do have on Patreon and man, it is fantastic. It even has some post-processing image editing built into it. I haven't seen anything this cool in any other workflows. Whoever did this is an absolute beast. So this one's fantastic. And then of course we have Quen, uh, Quen image. This one is giving really nice candid images as well. I haven't used this one as much as Flux Korea either. I think I'm just addicted to Flux. I don't know why, <laughs> but yeah. So let's go through. We have the same prompt for each one of them. So I just wanted to keep it simple. And we have photo of a woman standing beside a stop sign, realistic, detailed, natural daylight, street view. So that's what we're gonna do for all of them. You're just gonna see me going through here raw. This is not edited. Maybe some of it will be sped up just to keep the process, but we're not cherry picking any results. Let's just see what these different checkpoints do with the same prompt. So let's start with Flux Crea. No Laura's loaded, anything like that. You can see all the settings here. Pretty standard setup. All right, let's gen that. Let's get that nice and lined up. Okay, let's start our first generation with Flux Crea. Okay, we got our first image from Flux. Now, the pose is a little bit weird because our prompt was quite simple, but I think it looks pretty good. The lighting on the stop sign looks kind of candid, like from a film camera or something. The look on her face, yeah, it, it's not bad. All right. So we're gonna move over to the WAN 2.2 workflow, which you can find on Patreon as well. So once again, we have the same prompt that we use for Flux and that we will also use for Quen when the time comes. So we just got the WAN 2.2, T to V, low noise. Uh, yeah, nothing too crazy here. Now let's just see. Ready, get set, go. All right, let's take a look here. So this workflow has a timer on it, which is really cool. You can see how fast you're generating things. So a minute 18 to load the checkpoint, generate the image uh, with my 5090. So not bad. Let's take a look. Wow. I'm really, really digging that. I'm not loving the plastic kind of look here. So if you added some Loras and tweaked this a bit, um, I think Juan is going to give you some of the best results out there right now. I'm not the biggest Juan expert at this time. I'm still learning it and doing my best. But I mean, with a simple prompt like we just threw at it here, that's, that's quite amazing. All right, let's move on to our Quen workflow. So this is just another simple one here. Uh, you just got the checkpoint loaders, latent image, some Laura loaders, etc., etc. Nothing too crazy. Um, we're using Quen Image version 10 FP8 safe tensors. So this one is obviously a little heavier as well. Same with the WAN 2.2. Flux Korea seems to be the lightest of the three, but I kind of feel like you know I think Quen's gonna take it. First try. What do you think? Let's take a look. Ready? Go. Okay, now here's our result. It's not bad. 
Now, I really like the way they did the stop sign here. You can tell that it's made of kind of like that temporary plastic as opposed to a real metal stop sign. That's what I'm seeing as well. Maybe I'm coping. I don't know. Now, once again, the pose and everything is a bit weird just because our prompt was so simple. We just wanted to give an equal trial to all models. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell which looks best. Let's go through them again. So this is Quen. This is Juan 2.2. And then my favorite, Flux Kriya. Let me know in the comments which one you think is best. Um, what do you like using and why do you like using it? Now one bonus thing I wanted to show here. Uh, was it in Quen? Yeah, so there's a couple of Loras here that I really like. So the Boreal Portraits and this Lenovo. So let's add those in. Okay, so we've added those Loras in. Now I find these two give incredibly realistic results. It's almost unbeatable, but you be the judge. Let's generate another one with the same prompt with those Loras added. Check this out. Now, once you add those Loras, obviously nothing's perfect. You know, we're not cherry picking. This is literally just the first prompt after turning those Loras on, but look at how realistic it looks. Look at the woman, for example. She's a much more realistic character, I find, just down to the outfit, her appearance, pose, everything. The lighting is fantastic, the grit on the ground. I found that these Loras combined with this workflow has given me the most realistic results. But it's not fair because we're just comparing raw checkpoints in this video, but let me know what you think. Uh, those can be found on Civit AI or I can throw them on Patreon for you. Uh, just to make it easy, but they're not my Loras that I've created. These are just some that I found on Civit AI for Quen, but I think they look fantastic. I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me so far. It's quite fun doing this. Um, give me a subscribe if you enjoy the content. Uh, leave me a comment if you want me to make some content that I haven't yet. Yeah, I'm really excited to keep doing this. So thanks a lot, guys, and have a great weekend.